how you doing? I think we all recognize that, don't we? It's a Kevin McLeod song made famous by Tyler uh, over at Secure Team 10, which is not really too far away from where I'm at, but I'm not sure if Tyler made Kevin McLeod famous or Kevin McLeod made Tyler famous. Either way, it's a, it's a good song. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different today uh, with this video. Uh, this here is a uh, painting that I did for a friend of mine on his bike. He was down at uh, Bike Week in Daytona just several years ago and had a t-shirt he wanted me to paint on there. So that's what this is all about. But the uh, video is actually about this thing here that showed up back in uh, December of 2017. Uh, this is one of the most unique orbs uh, I've had show up. It was uh, beyond lively. Now, it's just a short video because it was so cold out and the equipment was kind of froze and I was new to doing this, so I don't have any other excuses other than that for it being so shaky. But anyway, this is a, a screen grab from that video there. And I'll show you a couple more here. And you can see in these screen grabs, which you can't actually see in the video, just how often and fast this thing is changing shape and changing color. Now let me show you what it looks like when you put it through that other filter. You can see what I consider to be uh, magnetic resonance waves uh, undulating throughout the uh, entire object. Now let me just pause it here for a second. I'm not sure, to tell you the truth, of course, I'm not a physicist of any kind, but if you're going to bend space and time uh, from one area of the galaxy or the universe to another, and in my opinion, you're going to bend gravity right along with it, uh, no matter where you're at, it just uh, seems to make sense to me. So I just wonder if this isn't possibly uh, gravity waves that are showing up on the surface of this uh, localized or focused um, object uh, from light years away. Or are they just uh, something so simple as, you know, magnetic resonance waves created by a couple of uh, different metamaterials in close proximity to one another that's generating those waves on the surface? Uh, somehow it's happening, uh, that's for sure. And I remember uh, a few years back I was uh, doing some uh, infrared videos and I remember looking through the camera at night and then I thought, you know, something's, something's out there and I wonder if I stick my hand up in the air if one of these things will land on my hand. <laughs> And then I got to thinking about it. Yeah, Zooks, man, I'm liable to end up without a hand uh, doing that. It just kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. But um, uh, it was kind of fun at the time anyway. But uh, this here does not have uh, the standard six-sided uh, configuration of a lot of uh, orbs that I've taken uh, videos and uh, photographs of. Uh, this is another screen grab here. Let me show you what it looks like through another filter. Uh, the interesting thing about this uh, to me is that right along in here and a couple other places on this, it looks like the outside in these areas here is becoming the inside. And then, of course, the inside is becoming the outside as though it's, you know, um, change in positions uh, constantly because it's got, you know, without a doubt, it's got an outside shell and an inside core. And how these materials or energy fields can maintain uh, separation between each other and appear to be wires uh, in there is beyond me. Uh, but it's just uh, fascinating nonetheless. Uh, it was quite the object to uh, behold, I'll tell you. And there's another screen grab, of course, and it's been put through a filter there. And uh, 
like I said, I just don't have a clue what this thing was. But it sure does look neat when you put it through that filter there. Really cool. So, uh, you know, again, I'll stop it here uh, for a second and, you know, give another thought here. If this is a, a machine, okay, uh, what in the world would you build a machine like this for to do? You know what I'm saying? Or is this uh, uh, an energy source uh, that goes in some other kind of uh, machine? Or is it a life form? If it's a life form, it's... Uh, beyond my comprehension all this is actually but um i'm trying to make sense out of whatever this thing is because it's it's obviously there it's not a figment of my imagination it's uh actually there now, the interesting thing about this photograph here or this screen grab i should say is on the inside you can see this uh, sort of a deep blue that's separate from these magnetic lines on here so Again, I have to I have to assume that there's a, you know possibly a couple of different uh, metamaterials there. You can see that deep blue, uh, purplish blue on the inside there, uh, uh, separate from the uh, the uh, wave lines. So it just indicates to me that there's probably a couple different uh, uh, metamaterials of some kind there, and uh, they are generating a, a magnetic field, and I have to assume, uh, if that's the case, this thing's not out there flying around on its own. You know what I'm saying? Somebody manufactured this or put it together in some kind of way, and it has to be guided or steered around uh, from somewhere else by somebody. I don't know if it's us or them, but nonetheless, uh, it was there. And it was uh, extremely unique. And... Uh, I hope you appreciate the video. I had fun uh, showing it to you. Not a very good commentator, but nonetheless, um, appreciate you having a look if you did. And no matter what you're doing out there, make sure you take care. And uh, hopefully I'll get to talk to you again. Thanks again.